Hey guys, um, so I posted a video getting 18 minute flight time on my DJI Phantom 1 and a bunch of people have asked if I'd go over in detail some of the mods that I've done in order to achieve that kind of flight time. Um, so let's start out with the top of it. Um, the props I'm using are the HQ403 props. There are nine inch props that have got slightly less, I mean, ever so slightly less aggressive pitch than the Vision props or the Phantom 2 props. Um, they are quite a bit more rigid, as you can see. They're not nearly as soft as the DJI stock ones. Um, I quite like these. Then the motors I'm using here are the DJI, uh, the ones that came with the 450 flame wheel I've got a kit for. Um, they're pretty much exactly the same as the, the stock DJI Phantom 1 motors. They're the 2122s, 920kV. Um, bearings are still stock. I do, however, oil with motor bearing lubricant from a uh, Scorpion RC just uh, every 10 or 15 flights or so. Um, then, as you can see on the shell, I've modified it. I've uh, this, this, these uh, safety pins are a temporary measure at the moment while I sort of uh, fine tune this whole thing. Um, I've essentially Originally I carved it out just so I could have the power connector on the outside um, on the outside of the door and then I eventually got rid of the door entirely and you can see I've actually carved that out quite significantly. Um, I did have to carve the guiding channels at the bottom there. I've also then drilled holes in order to mount my gimbal um, sort of here. I've tried various positions for the forward and for the back. I find center of gravity works quite nicely as it is here. Um, inside, which you can't see here, um, I'll have to take the lid off. The I've taken the shell off of the NASA. I've uh, cut the board down quite significantly. I think you can probably see that if I turn it at an angle like this. I've every single cable inside that is was excess that had excess length. I've shortened them, resoldered them. Um, I've gone over a bunch of the soldering just to remove a lot of excess. It's uh, saved quite a bit of weight here and there. Now I've also cut the board down. Um, then the landing gear has been replaced with the Simon Says uh, version 3 landing gear. I'll drop a link in the description to that. Then it's just carbon fiber tubes. Um, I've also, oddly enough, actually shaved my gimbal down just a bit here. I'm actually planning to shave it a bit more, but uh, I've got it to the point where it's really nice smooth footage at the moment, so I'm a bit hesitant to change any of the weight dynamics on it just yet. Um, and then the battery. So these are the stock batteries I have been using. It's the Genzace 2200 milliamp per hour, and it's uh, 25C. Uh, I think off the top of my head they're about 184 grams or 190 something grams. Then what I did is I took two of them and combined them together. And it's not the prettiest job at the moment because I haven't gotten around to putting heat shrink over it. It's just box tape currently. Um, um, you can see your height and everything is pretty much the same. Uh, width is the same and then it's twice the sort of uh, depth of them although one set of cables. I also removed the aluminium plating. Um, if you guys want, I'll do a video sort of actually walking you through how to solder two batteries together. Um, and it's pretty simple. And then video, the uh, battery slides just directly in here. I could actually conceivably still fit a slightly wider battery in and then I just connect everything through like that. And the Velcro comes around. Now, there's a screenshot now of the, you can see, of my, my gains, which some of you guys were asking. Um, then uh, one other last thing that took quite a bit of getting done properly um, was getting the compass angle correct because uh, in South Africa here we've got a magnetic declination of uh, minus 42 degrees or 24 degrees. It took quite a bit of, uh, I actually turned it to the exact degrees and it still wasn't quite right so I ended up having to adjust it manually one to two degrees at a time, do a compass calibration and then fly it and see how it went.
Right. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them.